Welcome to Little Data Courses, and I've got some breaking news for you guys. Guess what metric is making its way back? You've heard it here. It is bounce rate. Bounce rate's back all right. Now you'll notice that in our previous videos, we discussed that the bounce rate metric is not gonna be present in GA4, and it has been replaced with engagement metrics. Well, Google has brought it back, so let's dive into this new metric in GA4, where to find it, and what it means. In Universal Analytics, the bounce rate was the percentage of single page sessions in which there was no interaction with a page. A bounce session has a duration of zero seconds. For example, if a user was on your website and was looking at your content for a few minutes, but didn't click on any links and didn't trigger any events as interactions, the session was counted as a bounce. Now, in GA4, the bounce rate is the percentage of sessions that were not engaged sessions, and the bounce rate is the inverse of the engagement rate. So for example, if a user visits your website, reviews content on your homepage for less than 10 seconds, leaves without triggering any events or visiting any other pages or screens, then the session will count as a bounce. Now, GA4 has engaged sessions, and that means that a session that lasts 10 seconds or more has two or more page or screen views, or has one or more conversion events is an engaged session. It will not be counted as a bounce. Now, if none of these criteria have been met, then this session will count as a bounce session. Now, let's go to Google Analytics 4 and see how we can apply the bounce rate metric to reports. What you'll wanna do is navigate to reports, go to the exploration tab, and you can create a blank new exploration. But a few weeks ago, we created a landing pages report video. So we're just gonna use that already populated report and we're just going to add the bounce rate metric to this. Now, to add the bounce rate metric, you're gonna click on metrics and you're gonna type in bounce. And that's gonna select bounce rate and then you can import that. Now, to add this to the report, you're gonna scroll down and double click on bounce rate, which will bring it to the right hand side. So when you go to the values, go ahead and bring that bounce rate up to the top because that's a metric that you might wanna see. Now your report is populated with bounce rate information. You can view this report by going to the exploration tab and then clicking on the landing page report. That landing page report will now have the bounce rate included. Now to apply it to any of your reports that are already pre-existing, you'll go to the report section on the left-hand side. You'll select engagement and pages and screens. And then on the right-hand side, you'll see the customized report. Now you will need the correct permissions, editor, administrator permissions, and then you'll click on the metrics. And from there, you can add a metric at the bottom. And if you scroll through, you'll see the bounce rate. Now you can select bounce rate and you can add that metric in and then you can drag this to see wherever you wanna have this bounce rate metric in the report and then you'll click apply. After that, you will see the bounce rate appear as one of the first metrics you see in this report. Now your report is populated with bounce rate information. Thanks so much for watching Little Data Courses and as always, happy exploring.